Hi YouTube and welcome to Momentum channel where we talk about finances, personal development and investing. In this video, I wanted to share with you my portfolio that I have with Wealth Simple and how I've used it to create passive income and have a diversified portfolio of low fee exchange traded funds as a way for me to generate wealth. I hope you enjoy this video. So when I started with Wealth Simple about two and a half years ago, I started off opening a retirement accounts with Wealth Simple. But as time passed by and I saw the performance of my account and I saw how easy it is to use Wealth Simple to generate wealth. I opened a new account in fact I have now two accounts with them one is the RRSP or registered retirement savings plan as well as the TFSA which is a tax-free savings account here in Canada I would like to show you how through investing in this diverse sport portfolio I've managed to create a passive income through dividends as well as through growth in my stock value here's the report that I received at the end of the calendar year of 2017. That was the very first year that I started creating an account with Wealth Simple uh, back in May. And within a few months, you could see by the end of the year, I had roughly about 2,200 invested and the balance of my account had grown at, by the end of the year, um, almost 83 unrealized gains in my account. Part of it though, you, as you could see, was earned in Canadian dividends. At the time, I didn't have any US dividends uh, earned on that money. Looking at 2018, and if you recall, 2018, by the end of the year, especially November and December, the stock market was doing very poorly. There was a huge decline in the values of the stocks. At the end of the year, uh, despite the fact that I had deposited and continued to deposit more and more funds into my accounts, the value of my accounts was about $16,102. Sadly, at the time, had an unrealized loss of about $927. But the name of the game here in stock market investing is being patient and having faith that stock market investing is one of the greatest way for you to generate wealth. When the stock market is doing poorly, that's the best time for you to bring down the cost average for uh, your stocks that you own. I continue to fund my accounts during this time and I'm gonna show you how it has actually paid off. The total balance in my account is $36,400 and that shows a return or unrealized gain of close to $3,000. Not bad for a portfolio of diversified stocks in just two and a half years without doing much. And in fact, just showing financial discipline, continuing to fund my accounts. Over the years, I have not withdrawn any amount from my account. So uh, this balance has grown over time and all the dividends that are paid into my account are automatically reinvested. So you can see the magic of compounding and how your um, accounts can actually grow faster. I love the dashboard of Wealth Simple. It also shows you how much you've deposited in the month. So, so far in the month, I've deposited about a thousand dollars. And if I can show you, it also gives you the average for the past six months. So in the past six months on average, I've been depositing close to 18 or 1900 per month. With a cap of it being in the month of July that I uh, deposited over 3000 uh, into my account. One of the reasons that I've started to slow down the deposit of funds into my account is that as you may know, right now, stock markets is at its all time high. It's broken the highest, the high records, uh, particularly for U US stock market. Hence, I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious and save some cash on the side for the time that if stock market starts to do poorly, then I would uh, press on the gas pedal and fund my account even more to bring down that cost average for my account. Now let's get into the dividend. I really wanted to focus on that in this video and I put together this uh, spreadsheet so you get an idea of where things are at. So as I mentioned, the balance for my portfolio is roughly about uh, $36,400. The net deposit to my accounts was only uh, close to $33,500. So that shows a, per a performance and return of about 8.6% uh, over the past two and a half years. You could argue that 8. 6% return over two and a half years is not a considerable amount but mind you the balance of my account has grown dramatically over the year in fact if you look at the breakdown of 2017 18 and 19 the vast majority of my deposits were in 2018 and 2019 uh, which were two of the years particularly 2019 that the stock market was already doing so well had I now deposited this massive fund in 2017 i would have been probably in a way better position but the name of the game is patience and uh, sticking to it and over time as you continue to show financial discipline and fund your account you would see how your funds are going i wanted to also have a breakdown of how this unrealized gain has come to play if you break it down you could see the 
about 23% or one quarter of this growth in my in the value of my stocks are because of the dividends that have been paid so in fact since the inception of my accounts I've earned close to $677 in dividends and the rest of it about 77% of the growth is because of the growth in the value of my stocks this is just shows you how important it is to have investment in some of the stocks or even exchange traded funds that earn you dividends you can see 23% is a considerable portion of your growth I also wanted to do a comparison of how this growth has come to being in fact in 2007 I had about 2300 invested and in that year I only earned about $10 so you could see only about $10 in dividend gained on that year 2018 though was a very different year and by the end of the year, I had earned about $228 in dividends. By the end of the year, I had managed to grow my funds by about 590% in terms of the value of the fund from 2300 to roughly about 16,000. That was a considerable growth. But at the same time, if you just merely look at the growth in my dividend from $10 to about $228, that shows a massive 2000% increase in my dividends payouts in that year, mainly of course, due to the growth in my uh, funds value. 2019 and year to date let's not forget we are still in november i am anticipating this dividend is going to grow to over 500 dollars i would be sure to make an updated video at the end of the year but as of today the 438 canadian dollars earned in dividends in my account just in 2019 alone uh, that shows about 93 percent growth compared to last year when it comes to uh, growth in the dividends earned on my account from a uh, growth in terms of the funds value year to date that shows also 126 percent so i've continued to fund my accounts every day almost every day funding the account and this is one of the beauties of wealth simple account you don't have to necessarily fund your account in large quantities in fact you can fund your account even five dollars a day this way you're actually taking advantage of the dollar cost averaging some days the stock market is doing poor some days it's doing better and as a result you can kind of take advantage of the ups and downs of the market and kind of invest uh, on a day-to-day -day basis without having to really fork out a big portion of your income that's one of the reasons i love wealth simple and one of the other advantages of this account is that they have a very low fee compared to mutual funds or any other investment type of accounts uh, where it's actively managed wealth simple uses a robo advisor approach where um, they take out feelings away from investment so there is no feelings attached it's, as a result is just based on mathematical algorithm and investing your money the best way possible getting the best return for you uh, through a diversified portfolio of exchange traded funds that have proven to be effective over time and their fee as i mentioned is very minimal it's only half a percent fee um, if you open your account with wealth simple as a new client they manage a certain portion of your funds free for the first year but if you want to even take the most advantage of this account if you use the referral code that i, I have and i would be sure to put it in the description box below your first ten thousand dollars up to ten thousand dollars that you fund into wealth simple for one whole year there is going to be minimal in fact no fee at whatsoever from wealth simple so even that 0.5 percent fee would be waived the only fee that would be charged and that's just the fee that goes towards um, the exchange traded funds, the ETFs. And this is very typical, as you know, if you, even with Vanguard, if you buy uh, ETF with them, you're still gonna have to pay that fee. So they're not gonna charge you anything on top of that. That's just a normal fee that Vanguard charges. It's a great way to get started. You can even get started with investing $5 into your account. Doesn't matter how small or large your, your funding is. Um, and you can test it out and see how you like it. For me personally, I love it. I think it's one of the best ways for you to see how you can demonstrate financial discipline and grow your wealth over time. My goal is definitely to grow this account into a six digit value for the fund, hopefully over the next couple of years. But I will be sure to make other videos as time goes by to show you how I'm using my financial discipline to grow my account and hopefully motivate you to wanting to uh, becoming financially free in your own uh, life. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've made some other videos on this channel about financial discipline, financial uh, freedom, and also how you can retire early. Be sure to check out other videos on our channel Momentum. And if you like this video and are looking for similar type of videos to help you on your way to become financially free, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a great day. Mm -hmm.